Ansel Adams was an American landscape photographer and environmentalist known for his black and white images of the American West. In 1943, as America's most well-known photographer, he documented the Manzanar War Relocation Center in California and the Japanese Americans interned there during World War II. The majority of his pictures are portraits, but images also include views of daily life agricultural scenes, and sports and leisure activities. This introductory photograph shows a west view of Manzanar from a guard tower with the Sierra Nevada mountains in the background. Manzanar was located in a desolate area beneath the Sierra Nevada mountain range about 250 miles north of Los Angeles, California. Winters were extremely cold in this photo, we can see people leaving the Buddhist church in the middle of winter. The internment camps became like their own little cities. Roy Takaro is reading a paper in front of the Free Press office. The newspaper was full of information that was beneficial and helpful to the internees. This is a wide-angle view of the previous photograph. It shows several men reading together the paper from the Free Press office with the landscape in the background, which was typical of most of Ansel Adams' work. Internees did not cook their own meals. They had to stand in line three times a day in order to eat. Ansel Adams captured this noontime lunch line. Watching and playing baseball was one way the internees filled their days to keep away boredom and depression. A monument stands in the cemetery of the camp. The children of the camp were very happy when the schools were restarted and they had a place to go to learn and to play with their friends. Calisthenics what we know as today as physical education was part of the school day. Even children born in the United States and were American citizens did not escape imprisonment within the camps. Families decorated their tiny rooms to make it feel more at home. Ansel Adams captures the amazing beauty of the landscape along with the harsh reality of the rows and rows of bunkers that imprisoned the Japanese Americans. This man has taken a walk to the outer edges of the camp borders. We need to stop and wonder, what is he thinking? What is his life like within the barbed wire? Many people took walks around the camp just to get away from the hustle and bustle and the crowded barracks. A group of boys check out the edge and the barbed wire. Those with farming skills became involved in growing and raising food to help feed the 10,000 people within the camp. They raised their own beef to help feed the population. Tractors were used to help disc the ground to prepare for planting. One way to fight boredom in the camps was for the internees to take a walk and look for items to decorate, maybe a rock, a piece of bark, or even a stick. They would even use nail polish that they would order through catalogs to make colorful pictures on the bark. Ansel Adams made a statement when he offered his collection to the Library of Congress in 1965. The purpose of my work was to show how these people, suffering under a great injustice and loss of property, businesses, and professions, had overcome the sense of defeat and despair by building for themselves a vital community in an arid but magnificent environment. All in all, I think this Manzanar collection is an important historical document, and I trust it can be put to good use.